So we get this API key and let's go to the VS code on this weather app. What we need whenever this app component or whenever this page is created, then I need to give the actual request to, to get the data from the API. So yes, this is Nuxt.js and in Nuxt to access Axios, you need to say this dot dollar axios dot dollar get. So the endpoint here is uh, this one. So let's open API and API doc and this is the one. So here we have, let's go here and I'm using backticks and paste it. Why I'm using backticks? I will tell you in a moment, but yeah, let's use HTTPS colon colon slash. And now after this weather, we need to give the name of city. So I will go and say city. So that has to be actually this dot city. And one thing more, it's saying this kind of error because this has to be like this okay so whenever we created we are going to this endpoint and whenever we get the response i will say log out the response and let's define the data so data return and the city city name is let's say once more london save this and let's go here on our weather app and if you, i go and let's see i think you can see 404 or 401 and simple statement here is invalid api key so let's copy this api key from here and now i'm going to give the api key so how you can get the api key again you will say just and and then app id is equal to whatever the application id you have so now if i go on the weather app refresh this page as soon as this page is created we get the data congratulations you have all the data related to weather of london city so that's very cool and this data is very nice and now what we need we need to populate all the data to the weather app but various tweaks and various changes we need to make and that's exactly we are going to see in the coming episodes so let's move to the next episode by saying you goodbye we will meet in that next episode